Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Florida Gators. Number 23 is, does a great job using his senior maturity to inspire his team. Yeah, Brad, a senior leader is the guy who the team can't count on for support. This kid is no exception. The Gators will have to be prepared defensively for him tonight, Dick. The Gators might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, try not to give up any good looks from the outside. Second, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking for a good shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Well, makes the shot. And up. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the dribble, gives it up. The frustration right there. Puckett receives the ball for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looks at the three. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The center has gone wild. Well, the rowdy reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. Trying to feed the low block. Defensively trying to stay with his man. And he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside. And they attack him aggressively. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. I step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barisha go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. The power forward receives the pass. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Sinks the shot. In the paint. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The shooting guard gets the pass. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. The center with the ball. Takes the shot. Way off target. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Pushes it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. The land. Another look. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. For the bucket, great shot. Oh, that's seven unanswered. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. They're off into transition. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great anticipation defensively. 
Working it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. The point guard handles the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? They're working around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. He'll visit the charity strike. He hits the first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. The skip pass is picked off. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the outside, unloads a three. It sticks. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They go into the low block. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people. He gets the rejection. The point guard takes the pass. Looking for the foul. Up and in. Now trying to feed the low block. Turns it over. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Step out on that screener. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Tries for two. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Looking for contact. They let him out of a double team there. That's not the way you utilize the double. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. The point guard gets the ball. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Down inside, fakes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense.
trying to feed inside. He's got a nice shot fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. West is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He's got a high post flasher. Blocked. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. They look to get it to the inside. Trying to draw the foul. Florida are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to clip on offense. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Makes the shot. The Gators have been very successful of late. They're becoming regulars at the NCAA tournament. Hey, Brad, once you have this reputation, everything seems to fall into place. Recruiting becomes easier. The alumni starts to get involved. You appear on ESPN. Things just start to roll. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. These fans have had very little to cheer about. The silence in here is almost deafening. away got it Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man he hits a bullseye again and he's feeling it from everywhere baby they move it into the front court Strips the ball. Hinton, he makes the block. The shooting guard takes the feed. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Looking for a good shot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. For two, perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He takes the shot off the baseline. Dick, how's our focus player doing so far? I know it's a little bit earlier, but what are you seeing? I tell you what, doesn't he look like the 3S man? Super scintillating and sensational. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, passing the block. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. A high screen. Hard foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach.
I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. It's the first. Free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Oh, my. The screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. Gave it up. Hinton is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Hey, it's nice that Doug was. The mascot may have stolen the show on that play. He was the most excited person in the arena. Great play to take that to the basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And a slam. They come with a double team to stop it. He fouled him. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He puts up the three ball, gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. There's the pick. He buries the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Gave it up. Picked off. They're working around the arc. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And he scores despite the hack. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Kicks it out. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. With a deep shot from outside. Drains it. a high post screen goes to the lane for the bucket perfectly executed well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. On the dribble, gives it up. He rejects it. Off the rim and no good. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Looking for a good shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick gets up to make the block. Looking for a screen on top and got it. 
The center is going crazy. Wow, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Picks off the pass. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Or two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? There's the screen up on top. You betcha. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. From three-point territory, tickles a twine. The Gators will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Number 23, pump fakes. Turnaround jumper. He knocks down another bucket. Dude. This kid's got skills, Brad. the perimeter he shoots from outside scorches the net <laughs> defensively low block oh nice job fronting him for the steal a uh, terrific job creating the opportunity and it really converts an offensive transition pass top of the circle the Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment that he's on fire at the half the Bulldogs are up by four it's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Florida carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coach's staff must be living right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. The ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit side. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first, initially, he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The Gators are down by four. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. 
ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From left of the circle, drops it in from long range. up the tray oh yes Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block yeah he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J how can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? It's electrifying in here. Thinks about the shot. Goes up for two. Up and in. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. the outside gave it up intercepted and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot Dick they're ripping up the nets tonight hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight great execution by these boys now they work it around the perimeter with a rejection on the dribble, gives it up. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Post flashes for the opportunity. He uses the shot fake. It's stolen. Now he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. It is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Tries for two. <laughs> Up and inside. From right in the circle, way off target. Gets it to go. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He fires from long range. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dumps it in. The power forward gets the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes the rebound. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. <laughs> Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. Mississippi State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Picked out of the air. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. Off the rim and no good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. It's a fast break possibility. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got a nice screen. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. I think they're trying to make a statement. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Goes up for two. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Puts it up, looking for contact. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Got an open look if he wants it from three-point range. Mississippi State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes for the deep one. Nice shot. whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Dump it inside. On the outside, he pump fakes. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I tell you, they did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Too much. That's a foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Pratt and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. He gets it to go. and Gainesville are going bananas. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Picks off the lazy pass. up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the tray. Florida have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Basic. From way outside. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from right of the circle. They can hit this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sets the screen for his teammate. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, man, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. He hits his second. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now the high screen. From right in the circle. Knocks it down. I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Tries for two. Take some pride on the defensive end. Goes for the deep one. Gets it to fall. One. 
They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. That layup will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For the deuce, easy one. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. That was nice. Pump fakes. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He throws it up from downtown. Good. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's good. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Making his presence felt with a block. Here's a double team. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Intercepted. The point guard receives the ball. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. Up, easy one. Gave it up, tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Picks off the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Gets them both. High post flasher is open. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy got inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He dials long distance. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. 
Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. He goes for three, sinks it. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of bounds. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Got a guy right on him. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He does the sweet fake shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. The small forward gets the pass. Shot clock violation, Dick. They really put the clamps on him there. Clamps is right, Brad. They ran, but they couldn't hide. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots, rims out. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. West receives the pass. That's a nice fake. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Why don't you put a uniform on? Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Look at that spacing. Combs handles the pass. Off the rim and no good. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. The screener takes a big time blow setting that pick. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. Misses the front end of the one and one. The shooting guard handles the feed. Goes up for two, and he missed. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. With the long bomb. 
They let him get into a rhythm. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Florida fought the good fight, but they still come up short. I don't think anyone expected to pull out a win tonight. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.